Hello everybody, my name is Dakota Emmons and this week I'm going to be giving you a speech given by Bill Gates back in 2011. Um, this speech is a motivational speech that Bill Gates gave to Harvard graduates when he actually came back to Harvard um, to receive his degree. The speech opens up um, like this. Thank you President Bach, former President Rubenstein, incoming President Faust, members of the Harvard Corporation and the Board of Overseers, members of the faculty, parents, and especially graduates. I have been waiting more than 30 years to say this. Dad, I always told you I would come back and get my degree. I want to thank Harvard for this honor. I'll be changing my job next year, and it will be nice to have a college degree on my resume. I applaud the graduates for taking a much more direct route to your degrees. On my part, I am just happy that the Crimson called me Harvard's most successful dropout. I guess that makes me valedictorian of my own special class. I did the best out of everyone who failed. But I also want to be recognized for the one who made Steve Bulmer drop out of business school. I am a bad influence for one. This is why I was invited to speak at your graduation. If I had spoken at your introduction, fewer of you might have been here today. Harvard was a phenomenal experience for me. Academic life was fascinating. I used to sit in on lots of classes that I had not even signed up for. Dorm life was terrific. I lived up at Radcliffe and Courier House. There were always a lot of people in my dorm room late at night discussing different things because everyone knew I didn't worry about getting up in the morning. That is how I became the leader of the anti Schlocko group. We clung together to validate our rejection of social people. Radcliffe was a great place to live. There were more women up there and the men were more the mad scientist type. The combination offered me the best odds, if you know what I mean. That is where I learned the sad lesson that improving your odds doesn't always improve your chance of success. One of my biggest memories of Harvard came in January of 1975 when I made a call from Courier House to a company in Albuquerque, New Mexico that had begun making the world's first personal computer. I offered to sell them my software. I worried that they would realize that I was just a college kid in a dorm and hang up on me. But they said, we aren't quite ready yet. Come see us in a week. Which was a good thing because we had not yet written the software. From that moment, I worked day and night on extra credit projects that marked the end of my college education and the beginning of a remarkable journey with Microsoft. From what I remember, above all about Harvard, was being in the midst of so much energy and intelligence, it could be exhilarating, intimidating, and sometimes discouraging, but always challenging. It was an amazing privilege, and though I left early, I was transformed with my years at Harvard. The friendships I made and the ideas that I worked on. But taking a serious look back, I do have one big regret. I left Harvard with no real awareness of the awful inequities of the world, the appalling disparities of health and wealth, and opportunity that condemned many people to the disparities of their lives. I learned a lot here at Harvard about new ideas in economics, and also in politics. I got great exposure to the advances being made in sciences. But humanity's greatest advances are not in its discoveries, but how those discoveries are applied to reduce inequity. This is all that I have for you all today. Um, this is my speech. As I said before, of uh, Bill Gates back in 2011 for a group of 
Harvard graduates.